I fell in love with the film. It was Aladdin. It wasn't really like an, a live action film, but I saw this like brown kid, you know, a strive, you know, striving to like make money and get the perfect girl. And I think everyone could relate with that. But then he had amazing songs and all this stuff. And I really wanted to like engage with that. And I actually, the first play I ever auditioned for was Aladdin in school. Didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. Private, give me your comms. Sir. No. How many Marines were deployed to the ambush site? It's pretty much everyone on the junior roster, except us two and a couple of men posted at the gate. Marine dispatch, this is Peter Quinn. Marine dispatch. Get me the CO who deployed to the ambush site. Ambassador, you need to get to the vault, follow lockdown two protocols so you get the all clear. Private. Sir. Stay with me. Yes, sir. I love playing characters who already exist because now I have a refer reference point. You know, when I got into acting, I was mimicking a lot, and that's probably what got me into it. So that's a little bit of a strength of mine is to mimic. So with those guys, I have there's so much footage on them, there's so much, and I've always wanted to sort of like slide into someone's body and just experience their world and, and see it through their eyes. So definitely, I, 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 I probably would pick roles like that more often, if I'm honest with you. Um, I've, can I be honest with you? I've always been in love with film. So the, the question of stage or film um, was such an easy answer years ago, like I definitely want to do films. Then I, I realized that um, David, uh, David Dennis once said to me like, um, stage is where an actor goes to work out. It's their gym. You, work, you train your muscles there. And when you do stage, I feel like you work way harder than when you do a film, even though you do all this preparation. So I enjoy the hard work. I really enjoy the hard work on, uh, in theater. But then the, the truth and the, the simpleness and the subtlety in film, that's, that's what I've always dreamt of doing. Yeah. I've really, I've been honestly very blessed to have like amazing moments with great artists. Um, funny enough, I didn't actually have a scene with this guy, but he was always on set watching me. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe, he was such a cool dude and uh, I had this epic scene in this movie called Game Changers. And it was a, it was a one track shot, like no cuts, nothing. And we went from like one place to another and I was shooting so many different people. I had to jump into a car, do stunt driving. And then as I come out, done the scene, and I'm, I'm just feeling like I just, he runs to me. Daniel Radcliffe and says, oh my God, that was bloody brilliant. That was so brilliant. And I'm like, yo, is like Harry Potter shaking my hand right now? Like what's going on? I want to do more. I think I've done like three or four plays, but all have been pretty like well received and they've all been good with really good directors like James Noble, Dorothy Ann Gould, like it's people I really respect. So I really want to do more, but I don't like big pieces like intimate plays with small costs and just, I like truth. I'm very, very big on truth, yeah.